what if time travel was not only possible, but happening every day? What if it was something that you could do right now? Who would you see? Who would you want to visit? What would you ask them? Meet your future self with Israel Savage. It's time. Something that you said today, but you said a lot of things that stuck with me, but one of them was your future self is going to be there for you 100% of the time, and there's no one else that knows you as well as your future self. And um, your future self is just going to have your back. Um, what it made me think of when you said that, I haven't seen this interview in a while, so the details are a little spotty, but I saw this interview with Jim Carrey, and he was talking about his career, and when he started off in his career in the beginning, um, he wasn't having much success, but he knew that he would be successful one day. Um, so he wrote himself a $10,000 check, and he said, 10 million? Oh, wow. I forgot. Wow. Ten million dollar check, and he said that in five years yeah. he would ca- he would be able to cash it. Yeah. And he's just he knows he's gonna get there. He's just gonna enjoy like the process and just like that's like a to me that's like your future self like really you you trusting your future self and like your future self will have like your back. And yeah, what what Jim Carrey did he wasn't I mean, we didn't have two dimes to rub together at the time. That's the what isness. If he focused on oh I'm broke. Uh, so hard to act, so hard to, you just get more of the what isness. You just create more, more, and more, and more. So yeah, he, he wrote this check for himself, and he would drive up into the hills and hold the check, and he would imagine the feelings of being sought after, being highly paid, everyone, and he would just indulge and enjoy that, like eating ice cream. That was his ice cream, to enjoy and indulge and visualize that and think about that. Now, it wouldn't have worked if he picked up that check and didn't believe it. He was able to, to put himself in that space where emotionally he had the thing before he had the thing. Yeah. So that's time travel. I'm only suggesting that emotionally, you always have the thing emotionally before you have the thing, physically. That's all I'm suggesting. I'm suggesting that we think of time travel in different terms. It's not a time machine that we're looking for that makes time travel possible. It's the power of our focus, of our emotional focus, that makes time, and that is the time travel machine. If you liked what you just heard, then take inspired action now. That's right, act while you are feeling good and build on your momentum. Schedule your free discovery call with me at instudios-nyc.com forward slash future self.